cuties! Welcome back to my channel. Next we are reviewing Allure Beauty Box in the month of September. Now this is the best of beauty winners, okay? La Roche Jose Laboratories Dermatologisty Ex Eczema Cream. Now this I did, but not everybody has eczema. I personally don't, but my son does. He has extremely sensitive skin to point where I can even use fabric softener. So I do like this for him. It seems to be helping with his mild eczema. I mean, his when he has it really bad, he has to use his prescription stuff. So that, because I do like it, I am going to give it a four out of five star. The reason why I'm giving it a four is because not everybody can use this product. Why put a product not everybody can use in a box, especially a best of beauty box? Come on, Allure. Nars Velvet Matte Pencil in Dolce Vita. I hate matte pencils. All right, can we please stop getting them in subscription boxes? I don't use them. My daughter, who is seven, doesn't really like to use them. Does anybody really use a matte pencil? I use a lip liner, but I don't use a pencil for my lips. I use this uh, liquid lipstick. I know lipstick on occasion, but I do not use lip pencils. I never have. Maybe it's just me, but I'm sick of getting them. So we're going to rate that a one. Natural Lab on Perfect Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. Now this is uh, for colored hair. Not everybody has colored hair. I do at the moment, but I mean, with how long my hair is and how thick it is, this could be like a one-time use thing for me. Maybe two, but at least the conditioner part. So I mean, I just don't understand why this is in the best box of the year. I mean, a shampoo and conditioner, it just doesn't make sense to me. A Curve Brightening Facial Scrub. It's supposed to be good for all skin types. And Sea Kelp and French Green Clay. It's green, it's gritty, and I mean, this is gritty. I would not put this on my face. My face dries out and is very sensitive. It's not like sensitive as in like, I need to use certain products. It's as sensitive as in like, if I put something harsh like this on it, it's gonna make it dry out and gonna give me problems. So I'm not gonna even try putting this on my face. So I'm gonna give this a zero out of five because it is that gritty. The Ciate London Dewy Stick, and this is supposed to be, I don't love highlighting sticks, but I'm not going to hold that against it. What I am going to hold up against it is it doesn't work. You can barely see it on my hand here, let alone when I try to put it on my face at all with makeup on. You can't see it at all. So that is going to give that a one out of five as well. That was our box of the year. I mean, I just, I looked up on their website. There is like hundred or hundreds, I didn't count, but there is a lot of other products that they could have chose from in all different categories. I don't know how they were the best of beauty for a box. I just don't understand it. This was probably the worst box that I've gotten since I've gotten Allure. And I looked next month and didn't really like what's coming in next month of one item that I thought would be good. But one item is not reason for me to spend $15 on a box of samples. So I decided I am canceling for a little bit and I might be back in November or December. We'll see. But as of right now, I just want to take a little break, save my money for my birthdays, Christmas stuff coming up. And this box really disappointed me. So between all of those ratings, I probably give this box a one out of five. Sorry about this huge long rant. I mean, Allura really just needs to step it up. And they were stepping it up. Maybe they could go back to the cheap plastic bags instead of the nice box and put more value in their product. Sorry, my dog, she really wants to grow up. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.